This is a very easy beginner-friendly soap project for laundry soap. It's an easy recipe that uses three ingredients only. The first one is distilled water. By using distilled water in your soap making, you know that you aren't adding anything that could possibly cause any problems with your batch of soap. Trace amounts of metals in the water maintain the quality of your soap, therefore you want to use distilled water. You can find this type of distilled or demineralized water in any supermarket or gas station. The second ingredient is our fat part, which is the coconut oil. Coconut oil comes in solid form, as you can see here, unless you live in a very hot climate, it might be liquid. You can find coconut oil in every supermarket, as you can see here. You can also find it in small containers. Our third ingredient is the most important one, sodium hydroxide, also called lye. And it can come in small buckets like this, in pellets or flakes, as you can see here. And sometimes you will also find it in the cleaning department of your supermarket in a bottled form. And if you do, please check out the ingredients in the back and make sure that your type is 100% sodium hydroxide. And if it says so, then you are absolutely good to go. An optional ingredient is a type of essential oil, like for example, lavender. Now, as you can see, I have my recipe card here. If you are a member of my Buy Me A Coffee page, then you will have free access to some recipe cards that I made for most of the projects here on my channel. They come in grams and ounces. You can print them out, put them in a plastic foil, for example, and then keep them in a display like I do, that's very comfortable, so you can soap along with it. Very important for your soap making, always wear safety goggles and gloves, closed-toed shoes and long-sleeved shirts. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh out our distilled water. You wanna use a scale for that. Now comes our sodium hydroxide. Make sure that you're handling it with care and you just add your sodium hydroxide very slowly to your water and never the other way around. If you don't feel comfortable to pour your sodium hydroxide directly into your water, you can also weigh it out separately and then add it to your water. Now you wanna give it a good mix by making sure you don't inhale the fumes and having a very good ventilation in your room. You want to continue to stir until you see that all the lye is completely dissolved. Put it aside where it is completely out of reach to cool down. Now we are going to weigh out our coconut oil which is our fat part of the soap. Coconut oil is ideal because it has very cleansing properties and therefore perfect for laundry. Now, as our coconut oil is in solid form, we are going to melt it down and I like to use a double boiler for it. A double boiler is a very gentle method of heating. It uses water in between the walls of the pot, if you want to call it that way, but you can also use, of course, a microwave, but if you do so, make sure you use short increments so you don't overheat your ingredient. While our coconut oil is melting down, we prepare the mold. This is a brambleberry small silicone mold that I use for small batches, but you can use any type of mold, really. You can also find, by the way, in the description box all ingredients and tools that I'm using here. Silicone is a very good option as a soap mold because it is very easy to manage and you can comfortably unmold your soap. You will find such muffin trays or cupcake silicone liners and both work just fine. Or you can use also some plastic Tupperware 
a regular one you would buy in a supermarket. And if you use plastic, then it's a very good idea to line it with freezer paper so that the soap comes out easier. Another practical and economical possibility for soap molds for a one-time use only though are these milk cartons and the good thing is that they are already lined on the insides so you can pour your soap directly into it. Never use any kind of aluminum or metal to pour your soap in as it reacts very badly to the lye. We also need a stick blender to get the lye water solution and the oils to an emulsion. If you would whisk it by hand, it would take too much time. Now, as you can see, our coconut oil is completely melted. But we want to make sure that both lye water solution and oil are at the same temperature. And therefore, I'm using an infrared thermometer. And as you can see, we are still at 62 degrees Celsius, which translates to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. So we want to put our oil aside to cool so that we have the same temperature for oil and lye water, at least not more than 10 degrees apart. I'm using a spatula rest here to make my workflow easier. Now I'm going to add the lye water solution slowly to our oil. Make sure you don't splash any lye water solution anywhere. And now I take my stick blender and I mix until I see that everything is completely blended and there are no oil streaks floating around. This is what we call an emulsion and once that is reached you have soap in its raw and still liquid form. clean my stick blender a little bit, give it an additional stir and then we pour everything into the mold. Whenever you are making a soap that contains 100% coconut oil, it doesn't take a long time for it to harden up and be ready to be unmolded. It just will take a couple of hours and also you can use the soap immediately as it doesn't need curing time because we are using it for laundry only and not for the skin. Give it a shake so that it is even and then we leave it overnight. You can leave the jug and the spatula that you used for soap making overnight. Then the residues will saponify and become soap and then they will be very easy to clean. Once your soap is completely hardened, you can stretch your silicone mold around the soap to make it release easier. And then what I like to do is to push it out from the back of the mold. This specific recipe here makes a very hard bar of soap. What you can do is you can take a cheese grater and grate it in small flakes, and then you can comfortably add it to your laundry. There are more playlists for you to check out. If you want to learn more about soap making or skincare DIY, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you around very soon here for another video. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.